What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I just want to start by saying thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you guys for being here. And I know what's happening around the world is really rough and tough for everyone right now. And I know that we're all going to get through this. We have to help flatten the curve. So for those of us who can stay home and are able to stay home, this is what we have to do. And for those who are out there fighting for us, be it social workers, people who work at the grocery store, hospital, et cetera, et cetera. Thank you, thank you guys for doing what you are doing for everyone. You are the real heroes. And I just wanna clarify something right now. This is my personal opinion and my own personal journey and things that worked for me and things that didn't. All right, so this is something that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. A lot of people have messaged me on my Instagram asking me, by the way, I'm in PJs because quarantine life, you get ready and, look like everything is set, but comfy clothes. But yeah, sorry, I just got off track. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, so I got a lot of DMs on how I lost a lot of weight and my fitness journey. And the thing is, I started incorporating fitness into my life about, I'd say a year and a half ago. I did start beforehand, but I wasn't really incorporating it. I actually had gained a lot of weight when I entered university and I'm a five foot two girl. I was 136 pounds. I was not taking care of what I was putting into my body. I wasn't taking care of my mental health. I was negative Nancy. Um, I have a friend named Nancy, so just, I, she's not negative, but um, I was just not loving myself. I didn't like who I was and I didn't know who I wanted to be. So I decided to flip my life around and just start this new journey. And this journey has been amazing for me because I learned so much about myself and saw so much growth and changes of how I was feeling when I would wake up every morning. There's been a lot of times where I would be so excited and I was just on a high on working out, but then there would be times where I was just like, I realized that I'm just the same. I would get lazy, I'd get sluggish, and I didn't want to do anything. And then there were times where I was just like, nope, not working out at all. Who cares? So it was like, I was here, then I was here, and then I was here. And these transitions kept happening, and that's the whole fitness journey. But eventually, I realized not to be hard on myself, and as I started loving myself more and more, I just wanted to change my life around for me, and solely me. I've had someone say to me in an acting school, this was a teacher who said, you would look better if you lost weight. And that hit me so hard. And that created even more insecurities. And I was like, why, how, how can someone say that to anyone? Honestly, how can anyone say that to anyone? But I changed my life around, not because of what other people were saying, because I clearly didn't listen for many years. I didn't give a shit. And that's how it should be. I changed my life just for me. So when I started my fitness journey, the biggest thing was mindset. Now, if you have a negative mindset that, oh, I need to lose weight to look good for someone else, or I want to uh, take pictures and stuff and just be hot in my body and stuff, I think that's a negative mindset. The mindset has to be where you're like, I'm taking care of me to love me, and I'm doing it solely for me, not for the approval of anyone else. So I was thinking that since many of you guys asked me how I lost weight and how my transition and journey has been, I decided to do something a little bit different rather than focusing on what I did right for a little bit. I'm going to focus on the things that I did wrong. So before we start, I'm just going to admit one really big thing. I went through, um, I had a huge weight gain and ever since my insecurities, kind of took over my life, I started doing things which I have never admitted to anyone. I think one person knew about it, but I didn't love myself at all. And this was many years ago, many, many years ago. I began throwing up my food and that's, oh my God, I'm going down memory lane. That's like really hard to admit especially on such a big social platform even to like someone when my mom and dad watch it they're gonna be like wait what how did this happen but i was going through so many insecurities and especially of what that one person said to me it just triggered me and i was eating what i wanted but then i was throwing it up so i was definitely doing things in the wrong reason and not in the right mindset i do want to say this at the beginning of this video that 
I think all body shapes are beautiful. I, it's not even think, sorry. I know all body shapes are beautiful. I have seen it. Everyone is so stunning. Your bikini body is the body you put your bikini on. Um, or in, sorry, not on, but you put your uh, body in. I think that there's so many people around the world that are so beautiful and so stunning and their mindsets and that is what I always stay true to. This video is specifically for people who do have goals of a fitness goal. Um, there are goals where people just wanna eat healthy, they might not work out, might just go for walks, which is completely good. Or there's people who are like, I want abs and all that other stuff. Now, I'm not even at that position, but I'm at a position where I'm saying to you that this is for me. This was my journey. You guys wanted to know how I lost weight. What was the reason that I decided to turn my life around? Why I started eating healthy? And if this video, um, I know there's a lot of people struggling out there with weight. And if this video is something that can trigger you, please, it's okay to turn off this video and not watch it. Again, this is just my personal journey and what I went through and the wrongs and rights that I eventually kind of went on this journey. So I'm gonna reverse a bit. When I decided to change my life around, I was 5'2", 136 pounds. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's start talking about my journey. Okay, so the first big thing that I did wrong was my mentality. My mentality was to look good for other people. My mentality was I want other people to view me and say, wow, she's stunning and she's so beautiful. And I realized I'm working out and doing things for another person's approval and that's not a way to live life. So that was something I had to change around and I had to focus on how do I want to feel about myself? How do I look at myself? Let's zone everyone else out. Let's tune them out, have tunnel vision, and just focus on me. And I said to myself, I don't want to wake up every day and feel sluggish. I don't want to go to sleep feeling like I overate. And I don't want to wake up every single day, or sorry, go throughout my day and be just not active. I want to be active. When I was a kid, I was involved in so many sports and then that eventually stopped and then university and freshman 15 and that's where I had gained even a lot more weight. But yeah, the number one thing is mentality. You have to do it for the right reasons. You have to understand you're doing it for your health, your mind, your body and don't do it for anyone else. Don't listen to anyone. You're allowed to be whatever way you want to be. If you're happy in a specific way, Cool, if you're happy in another way, cool. What matters is you right here and here, nothing else. Next thing I was doing wrong was I wasn't drinking a lot of water. I thought I was drinking a lot of water, but no, I was not. I was having probably one water bottle in a day, which is horrible. And then coming to the realization that I'm working out, I'm active throughout the day, I need to keep drinking things, I need water. And I used to turn to pop like coke or like juice that has like high sugar and all these things until i realized tia the most simplest thing right there is in front of you water and what i started doing now is i have a water bottle with me everywhere i go i have a water bottle right now my water bottle is right there i carry my metal water bottle with me in my car it's always full, uh, even if I'm at dance practices or I'm downstairs sitting with my family, I'll always have it in my hand. Because I have it in my hand, I naturally just keep drinking the water. And the biggest thing I also learn is sometimes when I'm constantly wanting to eat snacks, it's because I'm bored. I drink water and I just feel like I'm full again. And I realized it wasn't because I was hungry, I wanted to eat because I was bored. Overeating was something that I thought I was doing right because I was overeating with healthy food and I still felt very heavy and I didn't feel good. And that was one thing that I realized that, hey Tia, just because you're eating healthy doesn't mean you have to excessively chomp and munch everything. And then I kind of went the other way, which was under eating, not realizing that I'm not eating enough in a day and then I would get tired faster. I wouldn't feel active. And I'm like, why am I Why am I not eating my proper foods? And this is something I still struggle with. I get so busy and caught up. And again, I know. I know it's an excuse. You don't have to tell me. I literally forget to eat sometimes because I'm editing or I'm doing all these things. And I have my water with me, but I don't have my food with me because I don't want that around my computer. Or I'm traveling around, like driving here and there. And I came to the realization that I need to keep eating. 
I need to have a specific amount of food in my body to keep myself fueled and going because I need to be healthy. I'm not here trying to do things all out of a negative reason to be skinny. I want to feel good. I want to feel happy with what I am putting into my body and happy with who I am and how I look. Under eating caused me to always be hungry nonstop and eventually at night when I'm done running around or doing whatever I'm doing and all the excuses of why I didn't eat, I would come home and it would be late at night, like 11, 12 o'clock and I'd be starving and I'd just eat and then I'd go to bed, which is not good to do. I kind of had to learn the hard way that I can talk to myself. I can say, hey Tia, like, what did you eat today? Okay, you didn't put that many nutrients into your body. Why didn't you? Okay, you were stressed about this specific reason. Now, is it something that is in your control to change or is it something that's out of your control? But regardless, in control or not, you need to eat. And that's something I really worked on. And again, that comes back to mindset. I remember like a long time ago, I used to think like eating less food and working out was going to give me my results. And that is horrific thing. That is a horrific thing to do to yourself because you think you're gonna go on to loving yourself, but no, you begin hating the fact that you gotta wake up and work out. You begin hating the fact that you're going to sleep hungry. You begin hating the fact that you're not feeling upbeat. So that was completely wrong. Social media. Dude, I cannot tell you how many times I would sit there and go through these beautiful girls who have worked hard on their bodies and just go through them and be like, while I'm eating and be like, why can't I have a body like this? Why am I not like this? I want to be like this. Oh, okay. Um, and then some of them, let me just point this out, would post that, oh, they're eating so little or they eat this and this. I can't work that way. That is not what I'm going to do to me. That's not how I feel happy. I got to eat a little bit more. But I started looking at all these things and I began comparing myself. I, those insecurities started flooding back again that I can never get to this. Oh, they're tall and that's why they're skinny. Or like girls that, you know, don't have to work out and are already petite. And I'm like, why, why is it I'm not like that? Why is my body not like that? Because again, that goes back to my mindset. My mindset was if you're tinier, you're better. And that was because of all the insecurities I had until I realized, no, the biggest thing is if you are happier, you are better. If you are feeling better with what you're putting in your body, you are better, which makes you happier. So what I started doing was looking at people who kind of have a similar body type to me uh, and how their fitness journey was rather than focusing on girls that don't have my body type like there are girls who are naturally petite and they want to gain muscle and then there's people who are much larger and they want to lose weight for their own fitness and then there's different types of body types out there that suit different people and i wasn't realizing that i was following girls that were just naturally so skinny and comparing myself on why i can't be like that and I bet you 100% on their, on their end on social media, they're looking at it going, damn, we wish that we had more weight on us. What can we do to work on ourselves? So I was judging other people 100%. They were probably judging themselves. And I'm out here also judging myself as well. It was like this whole negative, negative circle going through this. And I know no one can say that they haven't gone through this. I know for a fact many people have gone through it. So this is something, this was all part of the journey. And now when I look on my social media and I look at girls who have their bikini bodies and they've worked for it, and I'm just like, yes, like keep killing it. Like I get so happy with girls who are just happy with themselves. You can easily tell on social media who looks, even though I know social media, it's like, you know, people put their fakeness out there and some people are real, but you can just tell from somebody who is working on their fitness and eating healthy and how they feel and look, and they just look absolutely stunning and beautiful. And people who, you know, are happy with whatever they're doing and how they're living their life, you can easily tell how happy they are. And I just get so proud and excited to see how these people's mentality are. And then I came to that realization, shit, it's not their body that they're happy about. They're happy because of their mindset. One of the things that I did really wrong was, oh, I thought that if I work out for three, four months and eat right, then I will have abs. That was not the case. It is a journey. Some people it takes longer. 
Some people, you know, it, again, it's all, people have so many different body types and we're sitting there comparing ourselves to all these people. That's the thing that we're doing wrong. Everybody's journey is going to be different. Someone can transition within three months, two months. Someone can transition within six, seven months. And a lot of the times, oh my God, one of the comments that I see a lot on people's fitness journey, on especially people who lost like 30 pounds, 40 pounds or whatever, people are like, oh my God, you lost so much weight within three months. How come we aren't able to? Because your body type is different. Their body type is different. Their work ethic was different. Your work ethic is different. Your genes are different. Your everything inside of you is different. Constantly making excuses. Like I was the queen of excuses of why I cannot work out. Um, I would say that I got so busy doing so and so and all these things, but then I realized that I'm just making an excuse. I can wake up an hour earlier and still get enough sleep at night and be able to incorporate my workouts in the morning. And as I started doing that, I realized working out became me time. I live with um, a few family members and sometimes they're awake at 4 a.m. and I just never get my me time. And working out and that fitness time became focusing on me. My phone would not be on me. I would just be tuned in to me, my body and my mind. And that's why I started working out more because I realized this is my this is my journey for me. This is for me. And this is the one hour I get to myself, hour and a half, because throughout the whole day, I'm not gonna get that hour, hour and a half to myself. And even when I'm watching movies at night or winding down, you know, your phone's going off, people are messaging you. Working out is the only time where I'm focused solely on me. And also as an actor, I just kinda end up watching movies and studying the acting, which also kinda ends up becoming work rather than just hanging out. I also have to add, I used to be like, oh, if it was a Saturday, I used to be like, it's okay, I'll start working out on Monday because Monday's the start of the week, so I'll do it then. And then I realized that's a horrible mindset. I have to, if I wanna start working out, I can start working out now. I gotta stop saying tomorrow, I gotta stop saying day after, I have to stop saying a specific day. So I would go on like, Pinterest and all these things and find all these diets that people were doing and even on YouTube oh my god people are like copying the Victoria's Secret model diets to see if they can it can help them transition or they just want to like experiment with it I was like I want to try these things and I started doing all these things and I realized no this is not working for me it's not working for my body I know what I need to put into my body I gotta stop following these diets and plans and I just started doing something where I stop focusing on calories, I stop looking at whose diet this is because number one thing is everyone's body is different so that type of food is gonna be, um, that type of diet is gonna react differently for them. So in the mornings, like after my workouts, after my bullet coffee, I would have my breakfast. My breakfast would consist of smoothies with like almond butter, ghee, coconut oil, collagen, a seafood vega for my nutrients, um, a banana or, um, I, so there's ice and spinach like that's what it would be for lunch I'd have like eggs and I'd have rice cakes with a bit of peanut butter again I'm addicted to peanut butter or I would do something like I'd have eggs in a wrap or I'd have lettuce wraps I would have tofu salad of uh, you know salmon salad all these things and then for dinner I would do like veggies grilled veggies I would do maybe just a salmon or um, again I could do wraps again or something I just stopped watching other people's diets. That was one thing I was doing wrong because I started realizing what was making me feel good about myself and cutting out specific things. For example, cutting out sugar. I've actually cut down on it now. I had one moment where I had cut it out, but I started it again, but very lightly. Uh, that really helped me because yes, the first four or five days were really, really hard uh, because I'm a sugar addict, caffeine addict, but it really just, I realized I didn't need sugar to be energetic and hyper. Um, I didn't need it at all. And that actually helped me realize, that helped me feel better about myself. And I started seeing results. And I also cut out dairy and that really helped because for me, you know, my mom used to tell me to drink my milk and I stopped drinking milk at nine and she didn't understand why. I just felt bloated. Dairy has always made me feel bloated. And cutting that out, waking up in the morning, I just felt better. Um, I would go to sleep uh, not, not feeling uncomfortable anymore and I would wake up just feeling ready to start my day. But then again, these are things that work for me. They will not necessarily work for everyone else. It's just something that it took years for me to learn what I need to do for my body, what I 
didn't need to do for my body. I was constantly following all these trends and diets and everything and that was leading me to a whole different route. And the last thing that I was constantly doing wrong was that I would work out, I'd be like, oh my God, I only worked out for like 40 minutes. I should have worked out for an hour. I should have worked out for an hour and a half. And that's how I started off in the beginning until I realized that even half an hour in your day, the workouts that you can do can make a big change as long as what you're putting into your body is good for your body. And I didn't know that. And eventually now realizing it, sometimes there's days I'll do like a 20 minute workout. I'll do a combination of like, maybe I might do a 10 minute hit and then I'll do a 10 minute ab routine. Um, then I'm done. Maybe another day I do a full body one. I might want to do 45 minutes. I go with how I'm feeling that day and how long I want to go for. I don't look at the time and be like, I'm going to go for an hour and a half. No, I just keep going. And when I finish for uh, one workout, I, and I want to start the next workout, I'll start it. If I don't want to, I don't want to, I'm not hard on myself. And that's how I think Personally, for me, that's what really, really helped me out was to stop nagging at myself and stop being hard on myself. Yes, my friend who is a trainer, I started uh, going to him. I went to him once a week. He taught me what I need to do for my body. Eventually, I started doing that on my own and I would come home and do my workouts and I follow this amazing girl. She goes by the name of Chloe Ting on YouTube. She has all these programs, a two-week shared program, four-week shared program. Um, she has like abs and booty routines, all that. Everything for free on YouTube and that's all I've been doing. I've been following her work and I've been seeing results and that's what's been making me happy and it's amazing because she also has a two-week shred and it'll be like in a day a 25 minute workout another day a 30 minute workout maybe another day 15 minute workout and then she has the rest days it's like I realized I don't need to be like I need to work out for an hour and a half to see results no I can work out and I can watch what I'm putting into my body that's it one thing I'm still constantly trying to work on and I'm gonna be wholeheartedly honest about it is sleep. I don't get enough sleep. Like I get six hours now, which is good, but there's there were days where I would get like maybe four hours and I'd just be like, yeah, I'd be fine and I'd work out. I It's been a learning process and I'm still working through it, but I'm trying to make sure that I get no matter what, six hours of sleep in my day and then I can move forward. And that's something that took a long time for me to learn and I'm admitting it, I'm still working at it. There's still things that I do wrong, but it's still a journey and it's my journey and I have to fail at things to understand things that I have to do to get those wins. I'm gonna reiterate this, your mindset is what dictates your goals. You know, there's um, action, inspiration, motivation. And I started acting. I was reading the book by Mark Manson, The Subtle Art of Not Giving Up. And in it, he said that people go from like inspiration to motivation to action. Why can't we go from action to motivation to inspiration? Or I think it was action to inspiration to motivation. Well, flipping it around. And I realized that's the whole thing. You just have to go out and do. So when I started working out, when I started eating healthy, I was inspired and I was motivated to just continue it. And the biggest thing was mindset and realizing that the reason why, you know, people, so many people out here in the world are so accepting of who they are is because of their mindset. And kudos to them for that because that's something really hard. And I know how hard they must have worked to, to get to that point. Happiness is what dictates your goals. So eating healthy, or working out, or doing whatever you, the way you want to live your life. It's how you feel and how it makes you feel. That's it. And no one should tell you otherwise. Thank you guys for watching. This was my fitness journey. Once again, just pointing that out there. And um, for those of you who have just been going through a lot and a tough time with your health, with your body, I promise you, you will get through this. We're gonna get through this with you together. Write down in the comment section down below any of the struggles or anything you have gone through. Uh, it was a really big thing for me to open up and talk about uh, what I said in the beginning about me eating. And I'm glad I did because I know if my story can help someone, I know your story will help others too. Sending you guys tons of love. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.